Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a stack bar chart and switch between the percentage and the values with a simple click of a button. Now, this is not being created using the um, uh, bookmarks function where you can hide and unhide uh, 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 a visual. This is not done that way. I'm going to teach you how to do that. But when I click on percentage of total over here, the value changes to percentage. And then when I click on values here, it again switches back to value. So this is what we will be learning today. And uh, so let's get started. So to begin with, uh, we would need a uh, external tool, which is a tabular editor. You can simply go to Google and type in uh, tabular download tabular editor and you can visit this particular website over here and on the first page you will see that there is a uh, th there is a paid option where you have to purchase the license but if when you scroll down um, there is an open source version which is available you can visit over here and download and install um, the tabular editor so once you have the tabular ed editor installed you need to restart power bi and you will see a new tab called external tools and you will see tabular editor here all right so let us get started now i'm going to uh, start by adding in a stack column chart over here and uh, and then under my in my sales uh, fact table i have total unit sold this is a measure that is created to uh, get the total units sold so I'm going to quickly add this and then I'm going to bring in my uh, sales uh, channel which is basically defining whether it's an online or an offline uh, sales and then let us add uh, the uh, date column to this all right so let's bring in the sales channel to the legend over here and then um, move this to show next level so that we have months and then uh, let's quickly add data labels to this all right now we've got the values over here so let's now start with uh, adding in the um, uh, the percentage uh, values to this and also a, a slide also a slicer which will help us switch between the uh, percentage and the uh, app and the values right so what we will now do is we will go to the external tools tab and click on tabular editor so once we have the tabular editor over here you will see all your tables listed over here okay and then let's click on uh, right click on the tables over here and then click on create new and then calculation group okay so let's call this calculation group as uh, let's say uh, switch percentage and values okay and then under this let us create a new uh, you can right click and click on create new and click on uh, calculation item so once you have this and uh, let's rename this calculation item to call this as values okay and then we simply need to type in selected measure open and close the bracket okay that's all we need to do here for values and then let's go back here again right click click on new calculation I new calculation item and then uh, let's change this to percentage of total okay uh, yeah let's change that to percentage of total and then uh, let's type in a little bit of DAX uh, so let's start with divide I'm going to open the bracket here so let's give it some spacing to sort of uh, make it neat and clean and let's uh, type in selected measure selected measure open and close the bracket okay and then press enter and start with typing in calculate open bracket okay i'm going to go to the new line here again and then selected measure okay comma going to the new line i'm going to say remove filters on the uh, sales channel that we have right so basically we want the total value of the say of the total units sold we don't need any filters over there right so we remove filters on the uh, sales fact table okay so remove filters on sales underscore fact this is our sales table where we have applied the filter okay we are going to 
close that and then uh, let's get and let's close the bracket for the calculate and then let's close the bracket for the divide okay and then uh, let's save this we forgot to add in a comma over here so let's do that and let's save this just to make sure everything is correct so there are no errors as of now we will have to do one more thing over here and let's go to the format string expression so this since this is in percentage we will have to format this in percentage so i'm going to type in i need two decimals and then a percentage i'm going to close the quote over here and then click on save okay so let's go back to uh, Let's go back to the BI now and let's click on refresh. You will get a pop-up there whenever we make the change. So we'll click on refresh. And then you see here a new table has been added by name, switch percentage and values. Now let's go back here and uh, you will see that there is a column that is created by, uh, and it's called name. So let's change the column name over here and uh, let's call this as uh, value and uh, percentage switch okay so let's go back here and uh, it hasn't re refreshed so it'll i think it'll take uh have we have we didn't save it i think so yeah we now see that the values here that we changed are reflecting okay now let's add a slicer and pull in the uh, values and uh, total that we just created okay and uh, let us do some formatting here and let's only make it single select and then change the orientation to horizontal over here and then uh, let's have it something like this and on the chart over here so, all right so right now it's on percentage of total you will you have already seen that you know the values have changed from values to percentage and let's click on values over here and you see that the values have now changed to the percentages have now changed to values let's go back again to percentage of total you will see there is now percentage of total now this is a nice way of doing this uh, creating a little switch button where you can switch between the percentage and values without having to use bookmarks and uh, show uh, and hide uh, different types of charts that you are creating uh, so that's it for this particular tutorial if you need anything uh, if you need help in anything please do comment down below and let me know what is what next tutorial do you want to see on my channel as i keep making tutorials uh, on my channel every single day i hope you've liked this i hope you'll use this in your dashboard uh, and also please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials